Mm-hmm. Just keep it punkin until the morning. Or oh, I might be too young for that. <laughs> I think you remember that one. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a pumpkin from Mr. Heywood's farm. Um, the pop farm that I went on with Christy and Ravi the other morning in um, Cora. So yeah, he gave me this as a parting gift and I decided I want to make some pumpkin soup with it or pumpkin soup. So this is a pretty big pumpkin and what I'm going to do is roast it to make the soup. Um, let me see how I should cut this way. I'll cut into this one. I'll cut it from Right, yeah, cut it down like this. Right. I don't do a terrible job at cutting this. I didn't cut it in the middle, but that is alright, that is fine. So, yeah, I'm gonna scoop out the guts. As you can see, we're moving one time and we ain't sticking. Alright. We got a spoon. So I'm just gonna scoop the guts out. What kind of pumpkin soup that I'm doing is not pumpkin with like carrots and provision and all them kind of thing. It's literally just a few aromatics and then you blend it down into a puree and yeah that is it. The kind of thing that you would get as like an appetizer or a starter in a restaurant. Pumpkin bisque kind of scene. That is what we're doing today. And the proper way to peel a pumpkin is to break it down into parts and then peel it. Don't try to peel it in one big thing like how I was doing earlier. That is a recipe to end up causing an accident and we don't want any accidents in the kitchen. So break it down into manageable pieces and then cut. So now I'm going to cut these into cubes and I guess making this you could just saute it to break it down and cook it but roasting it breaks down the natural sugars in the pumpkin in a way that is different from when you just saute it in a pot. Um, the caramelization that has happened, um, that kind of slow roast action is really give a difference of flavor. And this is not a recipe that you need to focus too much on measurements and that kind of thing. Um, this is definitely a very forgiving recipe. So the amount of pumpkin that you use, the amount of um, spices, because I will be adding a little bit of spice in there. Um, the amount of aromatics that you use is all up to preference, you know. It's one of them, as I say, very forgiving recipes. You don't have to worry too much about following it to the letter to get great results. So, don't worry about it. Pretty sure you try this recipe, it's going to come out delicious no matter what. It's kind of foolproof as it will. So even though I said this is a very forgiving recipe, I realize that I still actually have to write a recipe. So I should measure out how much pumpkin that we use in here. So let's go. I'm gonna measure it in cups. It's gonna be a rough estimate. It's not gonna be super precise, but you'll get a good idea. So it's one cup. I'll speed up this part. All right, so we end up with 12 cups of cubed pumpkin, 12 cups. So now we're gonna season this up and we're gonna go on to the next step. All right, so to season this up, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, some black pepper, going in with some paprika. That will add some nice smoky flavor and I grate in some fresh nutmeg into this. Coating it with some oil, I'm using vegetable oil here. And 
now you just want to get your hands in there and coat all the pieces rub them make sure all of them get equal attention just keep it punking until the morning shout out to ricky J. I i don't know all right so now i'm just gonna place it onto a baking tray Kind of level it off. I'm also going to cut a head of garlic in half, like so. And I'm just going to stick that in the corner here somewhere. Stick the cloves. Actually, actually, while we at it, what I'll do is, it's gonna rub it in this. I mean, why waste all the flavor and thing going on there, right? Why waste that? It's gonna rub that. Put that there. Okay, so now I'm gonna roast this off in the oven. It should take about 15 to 20 minutes, but I'll check it and let you know exactly how long it takes to roast off. So check it back in a bit. All right, so we out of the oven. It took like 25 minutes. So that's how we looking, good to go. So now we're just gonna remove the garlic from the skins, the flesh from the skin. And but this is very hot, so you gotta be careful. Just gonna pop in them out of the skin. Pop the cloves out. Extremely hot, so be very careful. Okay, so now we're just gonna slide this into the pot. Not make a huge mess. Just give this a little stir. And now we're adding two bay leaves, a cup and a half of coconut milk. About two tablespoons of ruku. Now we're adding a scotch bonnet pepper. So I'm just gonna cover this and allow it to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. 12 minutes has passed, we're looking good. And the only thing left to do now is to switch this off and I'm gonna use my immersion blender to blend it into a smooth puree, pumpkin puree, or pumpkin bisque, or pumpkin soup, whichever one you want to call it. It's going to remove the scotch bonnet and the bay leaves. You know, they have done their job, so they could leave the party now. And of course, if you don't have an immersion blender, you could use a regular blender to blend this. All right, so, we have a nice consistency going on here. Looking good, nice smooth texture. At this point, I want to taste for salt. Yeah, we're good on the salt. So, one more thing I want to do for this. I'm going to make it a little fancy. I'm going to do a little fancy thing here, right? Just bear with me for a second. All right, so final thing I want to do is make a little coconut cream to garnish the soup. A little fancy thing now. So I'm going in with two tablespoons of butter and a half cup of coconut milk. And I'm just going to let this reduce. All right, so time to plate up this bad boy. Just kind of smooth it out with the back of the ladle here. And I'm going to drizzle with our coconut cream. For the final touches, some time for garnish. And I could say that this is looking a little too good to eat, but nah, it isn't looking that good. It's looking good, but it isn't looking too good to eat. So, I'm gonna dig in. Moment of truth here. Look at that now. Mmm, nice. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. 
Who would have believed? Pumpkin from Mr. Haywood Farm transform into this dish right here. Yeah, niceness. You definitely want to roast the garlic and the pumpkin that has just kind of intensify the flavor as the natural sugars break down when you're roasting it and you get the caramelization as well. And then all the other ingredients, the paprika, the bay leaf, the ruku, everything just working inside there to give you a perfect, perfect pumpkin soup. So if you like this recipe, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share. If you do try it, post a photo to social media, I'd love to see it. And a link to the full recipe will be posted in the video description. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.